Hey everyone, my name is Rick and I'm one of the solution engineers here at Pocona. I'm going to talk to you about one of the most common questions that we as solution engineers get asked, which is, how do I implement high availability? And the initial thought that most people have is they need to go with Pocona Extra Database Cluster. Three nodes, full high availability, all there. It's definitely a possibility, and if it's the right fit for you, great. But we're going to talk about doing it with a standard master-slave situation. Now, in a standard master-slave, you have your master, which of course is the node to which all the rights are being directed, and then you're going to have one or more slaves. And we're talking here about just having one single slave. And in the most basic situation, if we have this and we lose this connection, then we need to come along manually and we need to take this slave and we need to promote it to the master. Doable, but the thing there is you have to monitor it, you have to know that this has happened, and you have to do some additional work. So it would be really nice if there was some way that we could get this to happen in a more automated fashion. And one of the things that we recommend to a lot of our uh, customers, and actually it's something that we use internally with our uh, remote DBA offering, is a set of scripts called Master High Availability, or MHA. And what MHA does is it really just automates that process. So MHA has two components. One component is simply monitoring to see, are these nodes up and running? And then the second component is the one that is taking care of, in the case of a failure of the master, just automatically promoting the slave. If you only have one slave, things are pretty easy. Because if we lose our master, what slave are we going to promote? We've only got one. So that's going to be the one that gets promoted. And in that situation, MHA is going to be able to handle this failover in a matter of just a few seconds. It really is that fast. But the reality is, sometimes we don't have just one slave. Sometimes we have two slaves, or potentially even more. And again, we have the communication going from the master to these other slaves. In this situation, I'm going to look at two slaves. Now, if we lose the connection, so the master is gone, we just have these two slaves sitting out there, and they need to decide which one of us is going to be promoted to be the master. Well, this is another place where MHA can come in really handy. By the way, this is also another place that doing this, what I'm about to show you manually, can be really time consuming and really prone to error. So MHA makes this a lot better. What MHA is, MHA is going to do is it's going to look at these two slaves and it's going to evaluate to determine which one of them is most current and up to date. And it will then promote that slave to be the new master. So it goes through a little process to just check here and see which one of these is the most current based on the last known state of this master. Promotes that one to be the slave and then, let's say in our example, it decides that this guy is now no longer the slave, it's now the master. It sets up replication from that new master to the existing slave and your environment, again, stays up and running. This situation takes a little longer, but still, we're usually talking under 10 seconds of downtime. And in a lot of situations, when customers say they want high availability, they really just want to be able to say, look, if we have a failure, we want to be able to recover from it gracefully and quickly. And this is your solution for that sort of a, uh, an environment.